Hey everyone, so welcome to this system, welcome to JHL plugin. So of course, if you just bought a package, you should have a dashboard like this one. And depending on the package that you bought, you're gonna be able to see a couple of different things. If you bought the premium package, you're definitely gonna be able to see all of these, almost for the ones that have been released. If you bought silver, you're gonna be able to see the task system, which kind of has the ability to get you to use that system for all your sub accounts. And then if you bought the starter pack, it's just gonna be the stats, the task system for one. In case you also bought the individual packages, you're gonna be able to see whatever you bought in here. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to install the task system from beginning to end. And the installation is gonna be the same for if you have the task system for the premium package and the silver package. It's gonna be a little bit different for the silver for the starter package, um, which is just $39 per month. So without further ado, let's get started. A couple of things that you need to do and make sure that you have checked when you want to start installing the task system. Number one, click on linked account. When you click on link accounts, make sure that you have linked your account and it's going to work two ways if you have the pro account that's for ghl you have the pro account sas account how some people call it you're going to realize that i don't know why it's loading for long I'm just gonna... so as i was saying if you have the system make sure you check this you want to have make sure your account is linked and if you have the pro account what happens is that you should make sure that you just link, you can just link your agency. If you are dealing only with the task system, just link your agency. If you don't have the pro account, you're not going to be able to link your agency, right? If you don't have the pro account, you're not going to be able to link your agency. And so you've got to link your sub accounts. Okay, that's it. Now, if you have the pro account, you link your agency, it's just enough to click on link agency. It's going to take you to this page. And once you log in, you just select the agency account Don't make sure you select the agency account i'm not sure in which account i'm locked in at the moment but hopefully it loads fast so if you are locked in and you have a pro account as a SaaS account you're going to see the ability to choose your account directly your that's your agency directly and that of choosing the sub accounts but if you are not a pro account with ghl you are going to still see this, but once you're going to want to link it, it's going to pop up an error here. So you can only choose it if you have a pro account. So go ahead and link your agency or your sub account if you are not able to link your agency as a whole one time. So let's say you wanted to link sub account just because your agency account could have been linked. Just click still link agency and you're going to be able to link. Um, you're going to be able to um, link the sub accounts one after the other. Now that said, if that's that, if that's done, the next thing you want to do is make sure that you come to task system. Click on task system here, right? And I, for this, for this one, I've already enabled it. But once you come, you're gonna realize that at first it's not enabled, and when you enable it, right, you can put whatever email addresses you have you, you can you want them to be the super spot i mean for now it doesn't it's not very important but you can put it to be the super spot right here you can see the default view at this moment this is what you want your default view to be if you choose it to be the table view it's going to be table view as default view if it is the card view it's going to be the card view as default view that is the second thing one other thing that you want to do is to copy your agency script so that's the first the the thing that you have to do next you copy your agency script come to your agency come to the agency level in the agency level you come to settings come to settings come to company right here so in the company level you realize that you can put the js right here and then you need to know that you can just copy js from our platform once Whatever the service that you're doing, if they give you a new JS, if you have already had to use any other service, you don't have to put it again just once. So once the JS is put, like you can see in the side from what I copied here, the next thing you want to do is copy the custom menu link, copy it, and then you come to custom menu link. I'm just going to shift myself a little bit. Custom menu link right here. Yes. And then what you want to do is to create the custom menu link, choose the icon that you want. I'm just going to put anything, give it the name that you want, and then put the custom menu link, and then choose the sub account in which you want it to appear. Once that's done, you click save. And then one, or I think one last thing that you have to do 
is to come to Teams. And so if the task system is to be in a certain account, let's say it's supposed to be in the location drive LLC, you want to make sure that you go, you click you want to go to the user role and make sure you add the person to that sub account in here. Once that's done, you just need to go to the sub account. You just need to go to the sub account where you added the task system. And sure enough, if you come to the taskbar, you should be able to see your brand new task system. Yep, as seen. So thank you so much for the installation. Stay connected if you want to learn more about the task system, how you can use it. And thank you for watching this installation video.